Today we're going to learn the Russian peasant method of multiplication. If you can have and double numbers, you can use the Russian peasant method of multiplication. All you need are two numbers to multiply. We'll start with a really easy one. Let's multiply 10 times 4. Now you probably already know the answer to 10 times 4, but this is just to show you the method and how it works. So I write the problem and then I always underline the problem. I'm going to be creating two columns, one underneath the multiplicand and one underneath the multiplier. Under the multiplicand, I'm going to write numbers and I'm going to be having the numbers. So 10 cut in half is 5. 5 cut in half is 2 and a half. But in this method, if I get a fraction, I just throw it away. So instead of 2 and a half, I'm just going to write 2. And 2 cut in half is 1. Once I get down to the 1, I'm done. There's nothing else to do in that column. Now, in the other column, I'm going to start doubling numbers. So 4 doubled is 8. 8 doubled is 16. 16 doubled is 32. Now, in the first column, I'm going to put a star by the odd numbers. You can put whatever symbol you want, just mark them somehow. Then across from the starred numbers, circle the numbers in the second column. They're the key to the problem. I'm going to rewrite them over here, 8 and 32. I'm going to add those together, and I come up with 40. 10 times 4 equals 40. Let's try a trickier one now. Let's multiply 72 times 14. So again, I'm going to draw the line underneath. And in the column under the multiple can, I'm going to be cutting in half. 72 in half is 36. 36 cut in half is 18. 18 cut in half is 9. 9 cut in half is 4 and a half. But remember, I'm going to throw the half away, so I have 4. 4 cut in half is 2. 2 cut in half is 1. Now in the second column, I'm going to be doubling. 14 doubled is 28. 28 doubled is 56. 56 doubled is 112. 112 doubled is 224. 224 doubled is 448. And 448 doubled is 896. So my odd numbers, 36 is even, 18 is even, 9 is odd, 4 is even, 2 is even, 1 is odd. So I'm going to go across from my starred numbers. The number across from 9 is 112. The number across from 1 is 896. So 112 plus 896 becomes my problem, and I end up with 1,008. So 72 times 14 equals 1,008. You can use this method on even bigger numbers too. What would it look like to multiply 220 times 115? Let's find out. Same deal. I'm going to draw my line under 220 times 115. Now, under 220, I'm going to start halving. 220 cut in half is 110. 110 cut in half is 55. 55 cut in half would be 27 and a half. I'm going to throw the half away and have 27. 27 cut in half is 13 and a half. Get rid of the half. I have 13. 13 cut in half is 6 and a half. Get rid of the half. I have 6. 6 cut in half is 3. 3 cut in half is 1 and a half, so I'm just going to go with 1. And I've hit 1, so I'm done with that column. Now I'm going to double. 115 doubled is 230. 230 doubled is 460. 460 doubled is 920. 920 doubled is 1,840. 1,840 doubled is 3,680. 3,680 doubled is 7,360. 
7,360 doubled is 14,720. Now, even though it's longer, the method is the same. 110 is even. 55 is odd. 27 is odd. 13 is odd. 6 is even. 3 is odd. 1 is odd. So, across from 55 is 460. Across from 27 is 920. Across from 13 is 1,840. Across from 3 is 7,360. And across from 1 is 14,720. So, I'm going to add those all up. And then I will have my solution. So let me just write these here. Add up all my zeros. That's certainly easy. If I add up 6 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2, I get 20. So I'm going to carry. And then I'm going to go down here and add. And I end up with 25,300. So the solution to 220 times 115 is 25,300. The end.